Hey, shotgun enthusiasts, gonna show you a really quick and dirty way to load up, uh, actually it's a very clean and easy way, to load up uh, lee slugs in a target load after you've opened the target load. Uh, it requires virtually no tools, no special equipment. If you've got a, a scissors, you've got a piece of cardboard, you've got an open shot shell. Notice how these shot shells are opened. I use a special tool to open these, but you could open them with a pocket knife or whatever. Okay, you got your lee slugs. Notice the little impression on the cardboard. You could make that impression with the shot shell. I just used a chunk of PVC I had laying around. I put a bevel on it and I jammed it in there and it made a little impression. Okay, and you cut out the card. It doesn't take any skill to do this. You just follow your impression. Okay, and just go right around, cut out the card. Okay. Okay, you press a shot, a lee slug right into your uh, shell. It looks like this when it's been pressed in there. You'll see how deep down it is. That's a no good. You gotta secure it somehow, right? Well, here's a real cheap and easy way to do it. Okay, you just press your overshot card that you just made out of corrugated cardboard right down on there. You take a birthday candle. Everybody's probably got a birthday candle lying around somewhere, right? Or you could get a whole box of them for almost nothing. If you take the birthday candle and you break it up like this into little chunks, <laughs> it becomes flexible. And it's exactly, exactly the right amount of wax to go on top like this, right? And then you just push that down there with your tamping tool. Okay. <laughs> And then, uh, obviously, if you were doing a whole bunch of these, you'd want to melt some wax, like get an old candle, melt some wax. But I'm just showing you how rudimentary this can be, even with nothing. Here I've got a heat gun. You could use a hair dryer. Right? I'm hoping you have access to something like this. But if you don't, you know, you could just melt some wax in a pan and pour it in there. But I just wanted to show you just how crazy easy this is. And it doesn't take hardly any heat at all to get that birthday candle to melt. You don't want to melt your plastic shot, obviously, so you'd be on low heat. You can see it's already... The heat's so, you know, low that it, I can touch this thing with my fingers while the heat's running. It's not that low, not that hot. And there you have it. Bam! You've got yourself a Lee Slug made from a target load using virtually no tools okay and there it is and once that wax sets up it'll secure it against the uh, like I said it's probably a lot easier just to melt wax and pour it in there I mean that would be the way to do it wouldn't it but I just thought that was interesting and I think that the the, the fact that there's a string inside that candle that wick material is actually making that wax a little stronger. And there you go. In virtually no time at all, you <laughs> at least slug. What a way to do it, huh guys? What a way to do it. So if you end up casting some lee slugs and you want to load up some target loads, it's really, it's not like some super thing, oh I gotta get a press, I gotta have a special tool, blah blah blah. No, you just jam one of these babies right in the shot shell. Stuff a piece of cardboard over it, stuff some wax over top of the cardboard. Bam. Literally. Thanks for watching.